want to get too far of it. Yes, of course it would. Uh, where does it live? And not uh, some dark planet. A dark planet. It's next to a planet. That's a father it. Oh yes, it's what it can do. We follow it, just as Grant has said. There uh, was choking. How long? Oh, all right. Mm, you haven't seen some. It's in orbit. Some big one. Ellen went to a big building to find the rest of her kind of pressure and duster and creepers followed it to Norbert. They didn't have the moons and crones. But they can smell it. But then suddenly they came across some strange hill. They thought they can stand on it and see if they can see it to Norbert anywhere. Can you see it to Norbert, Grampus? Not up this way, Percy. Can you sit down that way? I can't sit anywhere. Not a choice of it. It must have vanished completely. How can something so big and skin loosen? Loose? Vanish completely. Person. Duster. And creepers were wrong. They found you to know it. At last, I've got some help at long last. Oh, oh, no, not that to know it. It was floating around the place. Babies. They're looking for someone to talk to. It's not as if it did any bother, any harm, get me upset when they were hurting away from me. They're not round there. Scarver. All they wanted to do was get to bed, but they can't. Oh, it doesn't look good. <laughs> if not, introduce myself to you too. A curse fag. Oh yes, hello. Um, I'm Pierce, a small engine from the island of Sertor, planet Earth. Um, it just um, came to this place to train fairly because his kind of celebrants have threatened a few near to get out of the way. Threatened of me. No, 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 no. Everything they looking for someone to talk to. Not on them. Mm. Well, seem as you're wanting some help, um, they could help you. What can they do to help you? Oh, wanting to know about the problem. Well, I'll tell you it. The most terrible thing has happened to me. Dark gloom cave. Wouldn't you like to see it? Uh, of course it would. You've got a talisman. Just over that. They took the Chernobyl curse to the TARDISes and they 
when to clean it and fight her. I met Hathi to Norwich and thought I had some enemies, but she said they not out to harm them, they were out to help. At last they came to the dark coon cave. Look there, sir. They said cave mouth with some light shining. It is, it's what have got light. A thousand jars have just slept in their place. But one day some light came on their skin. It just did like having something in there. It just wanted to hurt to bed. I said to Norbert, said to stay in the room, in the room. Oh, uh, <coughs> never saw me, Charlie. Come on, Crepus, can you take a look? Aye. Aye. Uh, what? What? In there? If a fair chat you can get in there. Come on, pet pride. Um, they're not scared. They've got some experts of herding. Oh, it's cold. Here on. Here on. What was that? My lord. Which is beyond the chains of wickedness. Liquid. All a liquid air wanting to pinch. It is great. Papers came out and reported that they found someone in there. There's your aunt, er, uh, Merlord, in there. Yes, what? Yes, your aunt, er, uh, Merlord. The one that you banished her. And you banished her forever. She would never come back. But no, she's gone to this cave. She's made a proud lad and the place is all littered up and pitching some strange liquid stuff. Oh no, she mustn't pitch experiment. There's a liquid. Treasure liquid? You didn't tell us it's some treasure liquid, Josephine. Oh no, no, it isn't mine. There it is, a treasure of liquid. And just the one protecting it. And no, it happened to tell you something. And the treasure. Treasurer of some mining vendor society. It is the treasure. What would happen if it was stolen? Well, some islands would know that it's too 